So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make acetaldehyde's line and dot structures. So first things first, we have the name here, but how does that help us draw its structure? Well, first we know there's an aldehyde group. So aldehydes are carbons, double bound, whoops, double bound to oxygens and single bound to hydrogens. And then we have this acid prefix here. And what does this mean? Well, this means that we have a two carbon chain. Think of it like ethyl in any other substrate. And then it's just single bound to H's because there's no more information in the name. Then you have these four free electrons around your oxygen. Now, this is your line structure. How do we make our dot structure, though? Well, the easiest thing to do is just kind of erase these middle lines and make them into dots, as it were. Do, 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 do. Sorry, it's a bit slow. And now you can see the electron structure between each bond. And you can see that each individual atom here has the amount of electrons it wants through these bonds. You end up with eight on this carbon, eight on this carbon, eight on your oxygen, and then two on each respective hydrogen. It has the number of valence electrons it wants. Each and every one is happy with this configuration. Let's see those big ugly circles out of here though. And this would be your dot structure. 